I hope you see my screen. We do. Nice. Uh, as you already have seen in the keynote of Connie, um, so I already explained control flow, and I sprinkled it with some Dutch um, mm, mm, flavor on, on top of it, because I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, I want to talk first about the if else, then I will talk more about the for, and then at the end I will talk about the switch uh, case. If else, uh, this is the old way with the, with the star ng if, and then a, a, a Boolean. And a uh, couple of, of uh, weeks ago, I learned that uh, else also exists. Uh, else works with a template, the te with the ng template here. And so if, if the is Friday is false, then the, the template is shown. Be, before I always used, used ng if not is Friday to display this part. But now with the control flow, we use an add and it's uh, as Connie said earlier, it's more like a JavaScript. You have an if and an else, and I just added an else if, what uh, earlier was not possible to show the same thing. And yeah, so at the right side, you see it uh, still works the same way. And uh, yeah, now we can go to the for loop from line 19, the for loop. The, the old way is uh, actually in this uh, unordered list with uh, items of Dutch food and we loop through it and then we uh, display it. And if there are no Dutch foods, we show no Dutch foods to show. And if I press uh, on this um, link, uh, then uh, the Dutch foods list is uh, filled and then the foods are shown. We have three types of delicious uh, Dutch food. Oh, that I shouldn't do that. Straw waffles, bitter baller, and stompers. And in the new way, uh, we use an add of, uh, before the four. And uh, uh, I should scroll up a bit. Then you see the difference better. It's more uh, neat. <clears throat> and uh, the Angular team also forced us to use the track to uh, detect the uh, changes. <clears throat> track uh, will uh, improve the uh, performance when you have a, a lot of uh, items in the list. So you also see the use of at empty when the list is empty. Uh, and um, yeah, when it's it's filled, it will uh, show the Dutch switch here. And that's uh, so you see the old and the new way works works the same. And yeah, uh, I can go now to the switch uh, example. The old way it is, uh, looks very uh, cumbersome with the ng switch with square brackets, with a selected food, and then with a um, star ng switch case, strobe waffles, bitter baller, stomp pot. I get uh, these child components, and then we have a very long ng switch default to say no food is selected, is uh, selected. Uh, uh -huh. And the new way looks uh, uh, much more cleaner at switch. Which food is selected? And if that's uh, strobe waffles is the case, show up the strobe waffle component, etc. And then default, uh, instead of the ng switch default, we have uh, this. Default, no food is selected. And then, yeah. The right side, I will show, show how it works. So um, I have added uh, a, a click event on this. So if I press uh, stroke waffles, then you see the old and the new uh, switch way works. And stroke waffles is, uh, I think, uh, quite famous uh, also abroad. And if I st uh, press Stompot, then the old and the new way of the switch case uh, still works. And 
now uh, yeah more uh, a little disclaimer this code is not production ready and for more info you can visit angra dev um, and uh, this is the page uh, where they talk more about the control flow of the if for and the track what i mentioned before and this uh, cool stuff you so can also add to the for uh, declaration and uh, yeah the empty block i've talked about and the switch case and uh, yeah uh, that's uh, that's it and uh, yeah for people who are not uh, watching the arch architecture showcase uh, yeah if you love angular you can sit with us at angular nation and this is created by me andy man thank you for listening Thank you, Andy. That was very cool. I loved how you just showed like the before and after, like right next to each other. Uh, and I think I am not the only one who says, please put that in the chat. Can you guys come off mute and let let Andy know if you want that uh, stack blitz? How cool was that code? That's brand new, y'all. Yeah, thanks, Andy. That was great. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy.